Hello everyone, welcome to the DPB Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Mondes with DisneyPinsBlog.com, the latest news on Disney pin trading and collecting from around the world. This is episode number 126 for the week of April 9th, 2018. Welcome to the Disney Pins Blog Podcast. All right, welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I have Ashley joining me this week. Hey guys! Welcome to the show. <laughs> yeah, thanks. This is I'm your super first. Excited. Yeah, this is your first episode on the podcast. I know it's such an honor. <laughs> yeah, you've been on the YouTube channel before, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, welcome to the podcast. So uh, later we're going to be talking about Pixar Fest. That's our pin chat topic this week. Um, yeah. A little light on the pin news this week. There wasn't too too much. Some exciting Toy Story Land things uh, to mention. Um, but before we get into that, we'll just start off with housekeeping. I have an announcement to make, a trip announcement. I am uh, actually heading to Disneyland this week. Oh, I'm really, really excited. <laughs> so if you guys are out there uh, later this week, I'm going to be heading to cover uh, Pixar Fest. It starts on April uh, 13th. So I'll be there for opening day at Pixar Fest. If you guys are around, uh, hit me up on Instagram or whatever, and we can meet up. Uh, but yeah, I'll be at, at uh, California Adventure on April 13th, and then Disneyland on April 14th. Really, really cool. excited! Can't wait. I uh, haven't been back. I haven't been to Disneyland since the D23 Expo last summer. So I'm I've happy never about been that. to Disneyland, and I'm so jealous right now. Well, you're gonna come for whenever D23 Expo comes next year. True. True. You got yeah. you got to help help cover. So. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a work trip. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, with that trip, I just want to also mention that uh, DPB store shipping will be delayed a little bit until I return. Um, I know I've been adding lots of product in. You guys have just been eating it up like crazy. Um, but uh, the last shipping will probably be. April 11th, and then I probably won't ship anything until I return on April 17th. Um, So a little bit of a delay there, but uh, we will get them all when I return. Um, And then one last thing for housekeeping before we get into the pin news is um, with all of that uh, going on uh, next week or this weekend, there won't be a podcast next week. So (laughs) yeah, taking a week off just because of the travel. But we'll be back then again on April 23rd. That's understandable. I mean, you have yeah. to have a life, too. So. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's hard hard covering it all. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't but. think people understand, like, when you go to Disney, like, there have been so many times that you're talking to me, like, you're at Epcot, and it may just seem like you're there for, like, Flower and Garden, but you're there in World Showcase on your laptop for hours updating the site. So, like, even when you're away, you're still working. So, yeah, I, I am. So it takes pretty, dedication. Pretty yeah, it does. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's get it into the pin news. First, we're going to start off with Disneyland Paris. Actually, you actually did this post. I uh, did, the, yes. Yeah, the April releases. The uh, calendar mm-hmm. has been released. Lots of, looks like Mickey and Minnie pins this month with a Paris theme. There's like the Eiffel Tower pins. Uh, what else? There's the next, oh, there's a Lady in a Tramp pin. There's a the My, My Cat series. Cat yeah, but yeah, there's also some new lanyards that are coming out at Disneyland Paris, and their next mm-hmm. pin trading day is April 28th. Uh, that's at Pablo Trading Post in Frontierland. Are there any of those pins that you really liked? Um, <laughs> I'll be honest, not really. <laughs> I, I actually do like the Mickey and Minnie ones holding the balloons. That one's cool. I like that one. I like the one, um, it's like black and white, and it's mini in the Eiffel Tower. I think there's like a heart balloon or something like that. I like that That's one. That's the same one we like, I think, right? Oh, I don't know. Is Mickey in it, too? Yeah, I don't Mickey know. and Minnie? Yeah, sure. They all yeah, look the alike. Is that, honestly, is that they are. There's they a were lot. all the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, They're whatever. All right. Yeah. All right, well, we also have some other news coming out of uh, Disneyland Paris. And they have a upcoming event on May 26th. This one is called Back to Neverland, which sounds like a Peter Pan event. Sounds like it, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this one's on May 26th, 2018, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Disney's Hotel New York Coliseum Convention Center. 
at Disneyland Paris. Um, this is a very limited event. I think they sell about 400 tickets, I believe. Uh, that's the maximum. And they should be showing the pin releases for this soon. They usually always preview them before the event. Um, so I'm excited to see these. I'm, I'm sure we'll see lots of Peter Pan uh, pins. Uh, so that'll be exciting. My money just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you need them all. <laughs> yeah, I, f- I found someone who's like a reliable Disneyland Paris pickup now, and Ooh. I'm just in trouble is what that's going to be. Yeah, you might have to share because I don't think I have anyone out of Disneyland Paris. I'll share my resources with you. All right, <laughs> offline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so that's all for Paris. Uh, next, we're going to talk about uh, Funko Disney Treasure subscription box. Uh, This is the bi-monthly subscription box, and this is actually the very last box that they're doing for the Disney Treasures uh, series. I think they did it for about a year, Um, and I heard that I think they might be going to specific retail locations now. It's not like a a subscription box, so uh, once we hear more about that, we'll let you guys know. But this box for April 2018 is called Adventures. It features a Robin Hood pin, and uh, that one actually is pretty popular. Lots of people seem to like that one. So yeah, that's a that's a nice pin there. Moving on, we're going to talk about Toy Story Land. The hype is coming. We have uh, Shanghai's opening up here at the end of April, and then Walt Disney World's Toy Story Land is opening up, of course, on uh, June 30th, which Yay. Ashley and I will be out there for. Can't wait. Yeah. I know. Um, it's, oh. The excitement is real. I watched a video today and someone was like posting updates on construction and they've moved the walls back so you can start to see a little bit more. Nice. I'm excited. I cannot wait. I know. I'm, I'm excited to actually see what type of food they have there too. Well, I know that the one restaurant is called like Woody or <clears throat> something lunchbox. Annie's lunchbox maybe. And it says it's like American type food and they're going to have like malts and milkshakes and stuff like that. So. Oh, cool. It's a quick service, from what yeah. I understand. Okay. Well, that'll, that'll still be cool to see. Okay, first we'll start off with uh, Toy Story Land in Shanghai. There was a cast member pin release uh, this past week. This is the very first pin for Toy Story Land out at Shanghai, and it features Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Um, it has some Chinese writing. I don't know what it says below there, um, but below the no. Chinese, I am not sure. Maybe it says Pixar? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing here. Uh, but then below that, it says Toy Story Land. Um, so that's a really cool pin. It comes on a backer card. It uh, Yeah, it's a cast member exclusive. So very rare. You can't purchase that one. Yep. Um, and, that, <clears throat> and then they had a uh, public release for Toy Story Land out there. Um, very nice pin. This one features uh, different characters on it. You have Bullseye, Lotso, Rex, Jesse, Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and the Aliens. It says Toy Story Land below it with gold glitter embellishments. Very vibrant pin. That one is limited edition of just 300. And I think it was released, uh, yeah, just a few days ago this past week. That was a popular one. Um, And then the very first pin, I think this is the very first pin for Toy Story Land and at Walt Disney World. Um, This one's coming from Disney Movie Rewards. Uh, we posted about it on the website. You guys might have heard about it. They are doing a Toy Story Land sweepstakes where you can actually learn uh, win a trip to Walt Disney World. Um, that's the grand prize. And then the first prize, there's 100 first prize winners, and they receive a Toy Story Land mystery pin. They haven't revealed that one yet. Um, they said that it will be revealed in June 2018. Um, so yeah, I think this is the very first Toy Story Land pin. I mean, it's a rare one, a hard one to get, but I think this is the first one for Walt Disney World. Isn't that interesting that like Toy Story Land is opening so soon and we haven't really seen any pins and then Galaxy's Edge isn't opening for another year and they've already had some pin releases for that. Yeah, that's very interesting you said that. It, yeah, it's kind of crazy because Hollywood Studios, you can still go get those Galaxy's Edge pins now. Mm-hmm. I mean, they made a lot of them. I, I thought by now we would have seen more Toy Story Land pins. Like, I know what they did for Pandora. They had that Countdown series, remember? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't know. I Hopefully we'll, we'll see something soon. We did see those open edition pins that were, you know, leaked. But, you know, no, no limited edition pins yet. So hopefully we, we hear something soon. Okay, um, heading over to Disney Studio Store Hollywood. They have a pin release 
this weekend on Saturday, April 14th. This is the Cuties pin release featuring different villains. You have Scar, Honest John, Prince John, uh, Bellwether, and Sheer Khan. Yeah, so these pins are limited edition 300. Retail price is $16.95. And I think I actually might be going to this pin release. Wow, lucky yeah. you. Yeah, we're trying to go out there. I hope I can. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this will be this will be my very first uh, Studio Store Hollywood pin release. So I'm really excited about that. I've been there before for a pin show to delight pin, but not an actual release. Mm-hmm. So that'll be fun. Okay, heading into Disney Parks. We have another cast member exclusive pin. This one features BB-8 from Star Wars. Uh, it was just spotted a few days ago, and I think it's available at Disneyland and Walt Disney World for cast members only. It's an open edition pin, and it kind of resembles a uh, Disney Parks name tag, and the retail price for that is $9.95. I like that pin. I, I think I might need it for my BB-8 collection. I'm sure you will. (laughs) Okay, now for the new pin releases this week at Disney Parks. First, we're going to head over to Disneyland. They have their next Windows of Evil pin coming out on Thursday. This one features Ursula, and that one I think is going to be pretty hot. Lots of hype around that pin. And then shared... I was just going to say, like, those Windows of Evil pins have really been getting a lot of hype. Yeah, they look pretty beautiful. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, And then there's a shared pin release. It's the next Disney Donut Shop. This one features Minnie Mouse. That'll be available at Walt Disney World in Disneyland on Thursday, April 12th. Limit edition of 3,000 on that one. Um, And then, of course, we have the Pixar Fest pin releases, which we're going to talk about here um, in a second for Pin Chat. Uh, But, yeah, that's that's it. Those are the uh, only two limited edition pin releases this week at Disney Parks. If there's any open edition surprise releases, we'll, of course, add those to the weekly blog post. And any other surprises um, will be on there as well. So, yeah, just keep an eye out on the website. All right, so that's going to do it for the pin news this week. Now let's head into Disney Pin Chat. So like I mentioned, uh, for Pin Chat this week, we're going to talk a little bit about Pixar Fest. Um, I just want to mention the pin releases. I definitely plan on having a vlog from the opening day. Um, that'll be up on the YouTube channel probably next week at some point. But I'm excited for the pin releases. There's two that we know of so far. Uh, one is the Pixar Fest 2018 logo pin, uh, which we have an image up of that on the website. It's a lim- just a limited release pin, so that'll probably be available during the whole uh, fe- you know festival. And then there's an annual pass holder pin. This is a jumbo logo pin with lots of different characters on it. You have Woody, Buzz Lightyear. Um, Solly and Mike, Dory and Nemo, Lightning McQueen, and Mater. I really want that pin, but it is an annual pass holder pin, and it's limited to 1,000. I'm assuming it's probably going to be selling out very quickly. But yeah, those are the two pin releases. There might be some prize releases. I heard they're opening up like their little AP corner section, so there might be some buttons that are in there, or like a lanyard, um, but we'll keep you guys posted. So who's your uh, favorite Pixar character? Favorite Pixar character? Um, or favorite Pixar movie? Character might be hard. Yeah, that's hard because there's so many. Um, yeah. I really like Ratatouille a lot. Oh, that's a good one. I'm glad we're yeah. getting like the Ratatouille attraction at Epcot. Oh, I know. I know. What? So what's your favorite? I really like Monsters, Inc. I love mm. Monsters, Inc. And of course, I love all the Toy Story ones. And- Yeah, (laughs) Toy Story ones are classic. All right, so that's it for the Pixar Fest. I'm, uh, like I said, really excited to get there this week and check the website for any, you know, surprises they have. I know there are going to be lots of different food offerings as well. So hopefully there's some some different surprises in merchandise. Um, So keep an eye on the website. I'll try to keep it updated as best as I can. Ashley, thanks for coming on. And no problem. You'll, you'll have to come back on and so we'll talk about uh, our Toy Story Land trip more in depth whenever we get closer to that day. Yes, we are both going to be there for the opening, so we'll discuss that later. Yeah. Yeah. We got some time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, thank you guys for listening and watching to episode number 126 of the DPP podcast. I won't be back again next week. I'll be back again in two weeks. So have a great week, everyone. See ya.